Hi, beautiful. Today, we get to see some tantalizing, sexy, fierce fantasy hair color be done. And I'm just so hyped about it because I love colorful hair. I love when it's bright. I love when it's bold. I love when it's uh, in your face. But today's video is especially exciting because as you may know, the X Mondo Color Awards, first ever X Mondo Color Awards, is currently going on. And our goal at X Mondo is to find the best colorist in the United States and award them with 10 thousand dollars and a year supply of X-Mondo color. There was so, so many people who submitted and you are all just so incredibly talented and thank you to everybody who submitted. But we now have our top five contestants who are going head to head with each other and you are going to be the one who has to vote to crown one of these people the winner of the first ever X-Mondo color awards. You guys get to choose, not me. I don't want that pressure. Ah! So we challenged each five of these people to create their most incredible masterpiece using our color range. And you're about to see those top five contestants. And then after, you're gonna head to the link right down below, cast your vote, and we'll all find out who the winner is very soon. I also have not seen these videos yet, so we're gonna both watch it together and see what the vibes are. I'm so excited because I know all these people are so crazy talented. Let's do it. Okay, our first finalist, his name is Andy Judd and oh my God, this man is so incredibly talented. Andy is in the Nashville area. So if you're around there, please go check him out. Andy's work is just magical, incredible. Oh my God, over the top, but like sexy. I need my hair cut by you, Andy, please. Some of these color looks, I can't even fathom how he got here. Like I am blown away by the talent. A lot of his looks have pops of color, but not every single thing is colorful and bright. He mixed is like natural tones with super bright pigmented yellows and oranges and purples and pinks. And I love the way he complements the natural color with those super bright bold colors as well. I love the way he does so much color blocking. Everything he does is just insanely cool. Like the cool girl. If I saw her walking down the street, I'd be like, whoa, sorry, I can't sit with you. You are, you are too cool for me. I'm so grateful you're participating in this. Let's see what Andy concocted for the X Mondo Color Awards 2022. Howdy, my name is Andy, and this is my iconic model, Kendall, and today we're gonna to be creating some hair magic with the X Mondo Color. Kendall and I have a great collaborative working relationship, and I asked her to pick the colors that she really wanted on her head, and then she gave me free reign to play. Oh! Uh First of all, this video is already magical. <laughs> this vibe going on, incredible. I am literally obsessed with the colors already. You're using turquoise, you're using yellow. It's going to look so fucking good. Together, we landed on the idea of highlighting three colors, the lime green, turquoise, and super pink, while also utilizing super blue, slate gray, and berry to create custom mixes to add a bit more depth for the back of the head. Oh my God, we are going in with literally every color possible. <laughs> Yes. I ultimately decided on using variations of slicing and foliage to create what I like to call a fluid block color, intentionally leaving blonde negative space to make the colors really pop. Okay, I love the fact that he like has that negative space going on. I, for some reason, I thought everybody was gonna do like just every single piece of hair color, which is also really cool, but he left that blonde hair in between and he utilized super gloss to make everything really glossy and shiny, but didn't cover every single hair with color. I don't see a lot of people doing this and it's interesting. I'm always searching for the balance between boldness and softness. And I find that this type of fluid block coloring really allows me to create my own perspective that I like to define as romantic meets Perk meets queer meets punk. And okay, here's the result. It's giving. It's like if Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake were in a band like The Runaways, but also in the Brady Bunch at the same time. Okay, I'm just a little excited. I mean, isn't Kendall just too cute? All right, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye. Andy, what? How did you even do that? <laughs> that is literally the most sickening look ever. Oh my God. Andy, you outdid yourself. The haircut, the model, the look, like everything is just magic. I cannot even believe believe you pulled this all together. The color scheme is magical. I'm seeing that super yellow, the turquoise, some custom mixed color, the blonde peeking through, the foil pattern you did. I'm just obsessed. Like I need, I need your pattern. Can you send that to me? Like the way that you executed this look, I mean, the talent. I think we all can see it. The talent. You're the first one I've watched and so far I'm shook. And uh, the rest of the contestants are gonna have a 
has some pretty tough competition already. But let's check out the other people. Our next finalist, her name is Walter. Walter does the most incredible fantasy hair colors ever. I mean, these looks are just magical. Like, what? Dude, how do you even do this? She is so remarkably talented. She's in the Minneapolis area, so if you are around there, please go check her out. Her looks are so original. She's literally an artist. Like, she can paint on the hair and create these incredible looks. Walter also does these like badass extreme looks that I just want on my damn head. Like this blue pair with the black. Mm. God, it's sexy. This majestic mix of tones that she has here. I am obsessed. When I saw her work for the first time, I'm like, yo, you are majorly talented. Absolutely. We are making you a finalist for sure. I have never seen some of this stuff before and I'm so excited to have Walter in this competition. With that all said, let's check out Walter's final submission. Hi everyone. For the 2022 X Bondo Color Awards, I transformed this ratty wig into a fire moment. In the color blocks, I use the shades Super Pink, Super Yellow, Super Red, Berry, Super Orange. And for the color melt, I used Red. Ugh, I love that she just went for it and like did so many colors. Everybody's doing pinks, purples, blues, great colors. But the oranges, the yellows, the lime greens, those are the ones that steal my heart. Slate Gray and Super Gloss. And I also did a custom mix of Slate Gray and Super Gloss to make a lighter silver. And I'm about to show Show you how I got two very different colors to seamlessly blend. We start with slate gray at the root, blended into my custom silver. Then I apply super gloss to act as a buffer so the red can be blended up without making a muddied or unwanted tone. Okay, that is so smart. The way you just pull that out. I love learning from you guys. I will never know everything and I just want to keep on learning. And this stuff is so inspiring to watch. I've never thought about using super gloss as a buffer. That is such a cool way of using it so that the colors don't make an ugly nasty color in between so smart and here's how it all turned out i hope you love this look as much as i do Oh my God. Okay, so she mixed the cool and the warm together. It's giving like fall sunset. Is that just me? Probably. I love the way she combined that slate gray with these reds and the, these really bright oranges and those little pieces of yellow is what really gets me. Like the little strands of yellow going through. Ooh, 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 ooh. The haircut is also great. The baby bang with the cut, with the little peekaboo pieces of red in between those gray strands. You did an incredible job and thank you for your submission and good luck. Our next top five finalist name is Maddie Marissa. Maddie is in the Orlando area. So if you guys would like to check her out and you're in the Orlando area, you can totally do so. Her work is so magical, uh, just like everybody else. But um, oh my God, <laughs> I love hair color. Nothing excites me more. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. When I saw this, I was like, mm, God, you got like the work of art, the peach with the lime green, with the turquoise, with the purple, overlaid on top of this pink and the styling got me. This was also one of my favorites. Oh my God. Like, let me just go through this. Like, wow. These are obviously a custom mixed colors and she literally slayed this hair. The haircut is so fun. Cool. The mint greens with the green, with the yellow, with the blue. Oof. She has the most cool punk rock feel, but like it's so artsy. She really pushes the boundaries of her work. I'm just so blown away with all of her stuff. This is definitely one of my favorite. Like bringing like the emo punk vibes in with like just trending colors. I love the work that she does on this curly hair as well. Just so cool. So Maddie, I cannot wait to see your submission now and see what you've created. Hey pals, I'm so excited to show you the look I created for the 2022 X Mondo Color Awards. Making it to the top five was wild, and I wanted to show you how I created my final submission. The colors I used were Coral, Super Pink, 
super red, super yellow, and turquoise. The colors going on just gave me such a high. Like, they're so bright. Like, oh god, she's gonna get so much pigment and brightness and impact on this look. And I'm already loving the combination. This turquoise with the reds. Like, I love the cool and the warm together. It's just beautiful. Picked colors that were bold and bright, but still pleasing to the eye. One of my favorite things about X Mondo Color is that they don't bleed into each other when rinsing them out. This is something that is super important to me, being a vivid specialist. There is nothing worse than muddy colors. See how my color stayed super bright and I love the way that the hair feels after rinsing the color out. I cut parallel to the color to show the levels of color that I placed, creating an edgy and kawaii vibe. Not only does the color get me excited, but these cuts everybody's doing, like you guys are well-rounded, colorist, stylist, everything. You're just really good. It's fun and I'm super happy with how it turned out. I really love playing with texture when it comes to styling. So adding elements like a rounded bang or braids is fun and creates a lot of depth with my Look. If you like my final look, please vote for me. There's a link in my bio for the 2022 X Mondo Color Awards. I appreciate you all for looking into the X Mondo team for this opportunity. <sighs> the way you combine the braids, the whole look just came completely together and I am shook. I'm obsessed with the combinations of yellow and the pink and the blue and the way it's like peeking out underneath. When you added the haircut at the end, everything just came together and came to life and I am just blown away. Like the turn Turquoise is my favorite part of this look. The way it's under the hair, but it is so impactful and strong and bold. I don't know, I just think it really pulls everything together and it makes it just different and unusual. This is amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. And wow, I don't know how anybody's gonna pick their favorite out of this because all these hairstyles are majorly talented. Up next, we have Reina Demas. She works in the Pasadena area. And so if you're around the area, please go check her out. Super talented, amazing stylist. There's just so many things on her Instagram. I want you to paint my head, please. This one had me going. The way that she cut into the hair, even like the stripes on the side have this amazing attention to detail with the color. And then underneath with the tattoos makes it even better. This is one of my favorite looks I saw on her Instagram and I was just blown away and she needed to be a top five finalist. Some of these pieces are so simple, but just like remarkably beautiful. This star look, how did you do that? Like what? And then she did like a Playboy bunny look, this swirl with the haircut, then with the color, everything is just perfect. This one, this checkered pattern with the green on the top, the black ends, this person is rocking it. I love how different and extreme her colors are and everything she does is just so different. Let's see what her submission looks like. Hello? Hey. Oh my God, guess what? I need a model. Are you available? Oh my God, here it is. Yay! Okay, we got roots, we got bands, we got residual color. Wait, I'm obsessed with that intro. <laughs> Go off. Meet Savannah. We came together with an exclusive look that intertwines both of our styles. Harajuku meeting Hello Kitty. Harajuku meets Hello Kitty? Ah, uh, yes! We have all the bright colors to choose from from X Mondo color line. Now I'm mixing the turquoise with a little bit of super blue. And then now I'm gonna be mixing the pink with a little secret moment of a super purple to remove that yellow and create a bright pink. God, every time I see that yellow go on, I'm like, ooh, I wanna eat it. Oh, I love that she did so much yellow in this hair. I love that pretty much everybody has utilized super yellow. It's time to correct that band that was left over. I'm gonna apply the blue first on the base and the upward stroke, and then I'm gonna lay the pink directly over to create a purple. This is gonna allow the band to fade out with a beautiful fade out and not give it that ugly greenish yellow look. That is so smart. I love the way she's explaining to us exactly how she did it. And you can tell she has a lot of experience. Here we're using the bubble technique. Shout out to Hair by Casio and Bottle Blonde. Look at this beautiful wash. Zero bleeding. Love that. Time to style. Yay. I'm super excited to style this. Look at how cute it came out. We're so excited. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Oh, ha, 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 ha. The way that the yellow is just there. It is like 
covering so much of her hair. Like I, mm, I love this custom color she mixed up together. And with it next to that yellow, game over. I love the way that she implemented the bubble technique, which is basically just painting the colors right on top of each other. And because X Mundo color does not bleed at all, like you can literally put a yellow on top of a pink and you'll still get pure yellow. I'm just so excited about this look and this styling is so fun cool the way you did the pigtails and the bangs and the the structural pieces i love how everybody has had a very similar style to them like it's all very punky yeah sort of a harajuku like look and it's such a fantasy it's such a vibe i love it great 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 job reyna i'm so excited you're a part of this competition and our last top five finalists her name is maylin maylin works in the white plains area so if you're in that area go check my eye just like stopped working for a second. If you're in that area, go check her out. Um, She does these extremely bold all over colors and the fantasy is there. Like, are you kidding? The amount of just sexiness in this photograph. Ooh, the placement of these colors, the blend is just extraordinary. And I love the way she is not scared to go bold as fuck. This one is incredible. This is a favorite of mine. These bold greens and these bold blues all together, roots to ends, incredible. But the transformation she does is what really gets me. This baby pink with the black on the top, everything is just so artistic and gorgeous. This with the negative space between this green, this yellow, this blue, this purple, these tones are magic. Oh, and the way it moves. I love, 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 love it. Let's check out her submission. Hey. Hey guys, follow along with me while I go through my final look for the 2022 Ex Mondo Color Award. My canvas today is my first client for my original submission. This was her 12 week fade out. I went in and lifted the new growth along with removing any remaining color that was still there. There were still some remnants left, but decided to work with it then work against it. I ended up using all 12 shades from Ex Mondo Color. You used all 12 shades? Oh my god. I decided to create two custom colors, the first being a mix of super green and lime green, and then another bowl being a mix of super blue, super purple, and turquoise. I parted her hair in diagonal back sections and alternated my colors. Oh my god, the amount of colors that were just laid out there. Uh, insane. With each section using foils to separate them. I placed the colors that I saw fit to whatever remaining color that was still there. I made sure to thoroughly saturate each section and used my fingers to blend each color into another. I love that she's working with the palette that she's given. Her client doesn't have perfectly white blonde hair. There's still some remnants of color left over and she's working with it and I love that. Like working with what you got is what makes a hairstylist really great versus somebody who's not as good. Like you gotta know how to work with what you got and make the best of it and that's what she's doing. At one point we actually ended up watching Brad's videos during her service which kind of prolonged it but it was well worth all the laughs. Once she processed for 20 minutes, I rinsed her out with high pressure cold water. This is how it looked when wet before blow drying and setting her curls. We wanted a softer look, so I went in and brushed them out. And this is the final look right here. Being selected as a finalist is an incredible honor. I had so much fun creating this look and experimenting with X Mondo Color. Vote for me to win the 2022 X Mondo Color Awards with links in my bio. My jaw like actually hurts from being so in awe of everything, but this was Wow. Her hair looks so fucking glossy and shiny. I can't believe you got every single color on that hair and made it look that good all together. Like, I always felt like not every single color is meant to go together, but you just proved me wrong because it clearly does. <laughs> it seemed like you didn't go into it knowing where you wanted to place everything, but you knew in your head, like, okay, if I place this here, that's gonna complement that section that I just did. If I do this here, that's gonna complement this section. And everything just came together to be this incredible, beautiful rainbow look. This look encompasses every single color we've ever created and you made it work. Damn, girl. I, my eye is so drawn to the bottom of this hair too. I love that green. And then the crown has a little bit of that lime green poking out too. Super, super cool detail. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. And the styling was remarkable. It was more of a classic style, which was different from everybody else, which is cool to see. So I'm blown away. I don't know how you guys are gonna pick your favorite. Like I actually have no idea because they were all my favorite and good luck with that. I am so, so happy I don't have to choose. I made the right call on that one by not having to choose because I would be here like dying. I would have to choose all of you. <laughs> I'm honestly sad that you can't all win, but you know, there's always 
next year. Thank you to everybody who submitted so much. Make sure you vote for your favorite look. You can vote once a day. You can go and vote with the link right down below or go to xmondohair.com slash vote. Okay, so you are the one who chooses the winner and the winner will be winning $10,000 and a year supply of X Mondo color. Good luck to all of you. Thank you so much again for applying and thank you to all of the top five finalists. You're all incredible and please go check them out. All their little handles will be down below. And if you'd like to shop any of the color in today's video, you can obviously do so with the links down below as well. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.